that's not me. You know that about me. Because we can live with that door no. just the uh, way it is. Michael, not desperate. Michael, I don't feel desperate. I feel desperate about reading the paper. Anyway. Ooh, heat wave to Cedar Bay area. Hot zones such as Morgan Hill, Livermore may reach triple digits. Well, that doesn't make me happy. Did you, uh, did you tell Cody about the visit we had with Peggy and and uh, it's Peggy's son? We visited with Peggy and Peggy's son. <laughs> no, I didn't tell him about the visit. And he came out and talked to us. Yeah. He talked he visited to Cody. with us. Yeah, Cody met him. I met him. He talked to Cody. Well, I, I know that this is supposedly he's really um, no, he, a recluse. He's, he's just really quiet. Doesn't. He's yeah. not weird. He's just quiet. No, I, yeah, no, no he but I mean, it went really well. Yeah, she was really happy he came out and talked to us. Yeah. And she got all her weeding done. Looks, oh my gosh, 100% better. Oh! Fanny Mae. Yeah, you want to see him? Who? Fanny Mae had a deal. Fanny Mae? People say Fanny Mae. No. Fanny Mae. You don't understand. My grandma's name was Fanny. Okay. And she offered my sister and I a hundred dollars, which was a, like a lot of money then. If we had a daughter, if we could name our daughter after her. Fanny? Yes. And That's as much as I name. loved my grandma, I could not do that. No. No. No, that would be fair. No. Come sit on your Fanny. hundred dollars. No, you have to understand, Michael. This was uh, 47 years ago. When the caveman so, still existed. 50 years ago, she said that. That was a lot of money then. Such a ridiculous name. That's my grandma's name. Don't make fun of my grandma's name. Name the next kid hand. Name the next kid forehead. Fanny, forehead, hair. Fingernails. No, it was a popular name back then <laughs> when she was named. There you have a tin foil on over it. What's that? Put tin foil over it. You put the tin foil underneath it. Go away, Grandma. <laughs> over. If you know what I mean, it doesn't matter. I know. <laughs> In this day and age, they're called grammar Nazis. <laughs> 
because they're people who correct you so much that no one wants to talk to you. That's what they're called. Well, yeah. I don't like that. I know. Neither do people like you correcting I them. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Then next week it's supposed to be.